we move on from the cafes, we see something we've talked about many times, what a uh, transportation system emerged, what a modern city it was when the subways and the trams came in in the 1920s and 30s. We often forget how early they were in developing this network. So here, one of the eight artists has given us the subway system. If we move on from that, we come to what is known as the modern Ouchi district. Um, and I said earlier that sometimes they speak of different cultures. One is the modern Ouchi culture, which is modern, brick and mortar, up to date. And the other was the more traditional Noden or old time traditional shop uh, culture. And see, we see the uh, transportation revolution in the automobile uh, in, a, in a graphic like this. What does the caption mean on this, this one? Uh, Mitsubishi was situated in Madanoji. Referring Manoji. to the building, not the car, right? Correct. No, no, it's a, yeah, there was a Mitsubishi uh, headquarters, I think, in oh, Madanoji. Okay. Okay. This, uh, the sign, the, firm. the sign reads, on the top, Maru no Uchi, and on the bottom, Mitsubishi. Oh, okay. That's what the, so that's a the sign reads. They and have a recently reconstructed uh, replica of, their, of this building, of their original building. And what business were they Mi doing at Mitsubishi? this point? Mitsubishi? Yeah. Mitsubishi was a, a Zaibatsu, a conglomerate, one of the big ones, like Mats All Mitsu. All kinds, yeah. so this would be... Yeah. Okay. And Maru no Uchi is, is synonymous to business district. The, okay. the premier business district okay. of Tokyo in this period. And so uh, it, it's akin to going to the financial district or the wow. Wall Street or um, it, in Tokyo during, during this period. Um, and transportation, of course, is actually, as opposed to consumption, one of the things th that almost everyone can do increasingly, or a larger number of people become part of this. And I think it's worth thinking about the kind of change that are taking place to people's vision and perspective when they are going on these increasingly high-speed uh, modes of transport. And it's striking to me that, again, we have a case here through uh, this particular set of images that we're dealing with here, a, a very old medium capturing a very new form of transportation that's not just new, but is injecting an unprecedented kind of speed uh, and therefore change in also the vision of how people see the city, or in fact, for the, in the case of the subway system, don't see the city at all. One of the favorite words in the 30s associated with transportation was speed. Mm -hmm. There was this whole sloganeering about speed, speed, mm -hmm. speed. It was that you had vehicles that could go faster, but that also change was going faster. Mm -hmm. Well, you drive your vehicle out of modern Ochi and <laughs> you tank up at a, at a Shell gas station. Mm -hmm. I think this is the most unexpected of all the prints. I mean, when you say, I want to buy a pre-war Japanese woodblock print, you just don't have in mind getting a woodblock print of a Shell gasoline station. and. This is what one of the eight artists chose as, as his, this is Tokyo, this mm -hmm. is what we have. So you have Shell, and of course it's Foreign Gasoline Company. With the uh, English title, Rising Sun Shell.